Hi, I'm Sean Ganna, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to evaluate variable expressions with integers. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, evaluate x plus y all squared when x equals negative 18 and y equals 24. Well first, I want to rewrite this expression, x plus y all square. Now, they tell us when x equals negative 18. So I'm going to substitute negative 18 in for my x. So parentheses, first one here, second one for the x, negative 18, plus, but now I have a y. Well, the y they said was 24. I'm going to do the same thing. 24 goes in for the y. We had a lot of parentheses here. Then we all square that. All right, got double parentheses, kind of hard to see, but we got to deal with the inside of this bigger parentheses before we deal with the exponent. Remember, order of operations. Negative 18 and 24. That's the same thing as saying 24 minus 18. Might be a little easier to see. 4 minus 8, really can't do that. So we grab a 2, 2 becomes a 1, and we have a 4, or 1 there, 1, 4, 14. 14 minus an 8 is a 6 and one minus one is zero. So negative 18 plus 24 is a six, and the squared is still on the outside. Now six squared is, well, six times six, which is a 36. And there we have it. We've evaluated x plus y all squared when x equals negative 18 and y equals 24, and we got a 36. I hope you learned something here on how to evaluate variable expressions with integers. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.